really excited um, to be welcoming the little one in, in September for our, our first addition to our family outside of, of course, our fur baby Arlo, our Spanish water dog. Um, yeah, you know, that time of, of being like six weeks pregnant and, and closing a series A and, you know, it's that weird window where no one really tells anyone yet and you're kind of like feeling things out, like what's going to happen and, uh, and you know, continuing to progress in the pregnancy positively and feeling like I have to tell Bob and Brian that this, you know, this thing, this other thing is coming. And, uh, and of course it probably felt like a bigger deal to me than it, than it did them. And so I was 10 weeks pregnant and during one of our check-ins, I, you know, I shared the news with them and said, you know, there is something that I, I want you to know that is really, um, important and we will navigate through it. Uh, but I, I do want you to know this, um, as soon as like, I, th I think I, we probably told them before I told my family in some, in some ways, uh, because I take that relationship incredibly seriously and, and they've invested a lot of time and energy and effort and continue to do so. And not, of course, not to mention money into, into Sitka. And so, you know, I don't know what, um, what maternity leave will look like, frankly. Uh, there's obviously, this is entering a new world where I won't have tremendous amount of control as to what happens and how the delivery goes and what the baby's needs are after, or what my needs are after. And we're in the process of, starting to think about kind of plan A versus plan B. But I'll tell you, it's been really challenging when I've been kind of Googling around like founder, CEO, maternity leave. Uh, there's like, there's a couple instances, right? I think we, we saw with the Bumble IPO and that CEO having, you know, her child as part of that experience, which was really beautiful. Uh, there's a few, you know, cases like that, that, that exist and, and experiences that exist, but it's something that there's not a cookie cutter approach to it. And, uh, this is kind of create your own adventure. Uh, and we'll, we'll be doing that in, you know, conjunction of course, with luckily some family support, uh, that we're really fortunate enough who, who are eager to come out and help. And, uh, and then of course, you know, we've been spending a fair amount of time building our team at Sitka and, feeling really positive about the folks that we've been able to welcome to help us get to the next level of organization and, and frankly, stability. And, you know, we, I, I do think this is kind of a, a test to just broader organizational design, which is, you know, maternity leave is not unique. And uh, we as a country still treat it as a pretty unique thing because we're, we're not used to it occurring all that frequently in our workplaces. And same with paternity leave and, and baby bonding is actually what, what it's um, kind of referred to as, as these days. But, um, you know, if you do a good job building your organization, there should actually be enough, you know, and you're of certain size, right? There could, there should be enough infrastructure, hopefully in place to keep things pretty afloat. But uh, there's, there's a couple of variations of plans that we have of, you know, a couple of weeks off to needing more time and, how to go completely off versus part time and what that looks like. So we're starting to to toy around with some of those models. And luckily, my husband's um, uh, workplace, Zooks, um, which was acquired by Amazon earlier this year, has generous um, baby bonding time as well. So we'll certainly be taking advantage of that.